hanging out here pre-race at Land Legends Raceway with Mike Fellows. He has a new car this year. We're going to get into that in a little bit because it's a little bit different than some of the other cars that are out there. But he seems to be pretty happy with it. 12th place is his best finish so far. 14th is where he sits at the points coming into today. He's 47 now, and there is hope for us older guys at all times. He started at age 44, third year in the division. I've been watching you. We had a good run going a couple of weeks ago. I remember what happened. Uh, the car doesn't get up and go on the restart sometimes, so i got to get better on that. But, is it a uh, carb issue or what do you, or gearing issue? What do you think? I think it's driver issue. <laughs> oh, why? What does the driver do? Is he spinning his tires? <laughs> yeah, the driver spins his tires occasionally on a restart. So I don't think you have to worry about that in the heats tonight, baby. Probably right? not in the heats, no. Okay. A little bit different conditions tonight, so what do we do tonight? Because it, it's been raining for about the last 36 hours. It's going to be a little hours. bit heavier for a little while anyways. Um, so what do we do? Like, let's let's say we're getting, because obviously the hot laps are going to be pretty much a wash, right? Yeah, yeah. You don't be able to tell don't much expect there, much right? out of that. Okay. Um, so if the track is heavy. Are we set up for that now, or are there some changes we can make that will make us better? Probably be some changes that I'll have to make. Um, we'll see how it goes in the hot, the hot laps, see if I can get any kind of idea, and we'll mm -hmm. go from there. Outside of gearing, and tell me whatever you're comfortable with, what else might, might we do to make this car better on a heavy track? Uh, I may change with the stagger a little bit, put a little more stagger to it, I think. Mm -hmm. Well, how much uh, can you get with these? What are they, 9-inch tires? 8-inch tires. 8-inch tires. How much can you get? Well... Do a little old school stuff. I put them at 40 pounds and sit them out in the sun and let them grow for a day or two. And ah. so I can get maybe three inches. Maybe three. Three and a half. Okay. Like that. So two to three. Is there that much of a difference? I'm hoping. Okay. <laughs> All right. So you've done that before. Actually, I've done that before. Yeah. Inflate them as much as yep. we could get them and put them out in the sun. Yeah. Huh? Hope that works. All right. So. Tell me about this car because it's it's. I guess talk about a lot of close cars. This yep. is a Thrasher. Tell me about yep, it. This is a 2022 Thrasher chassis. It's uh, built by. Uh, Damian Long out in, uh, I guess he's Pavilion area, uh -huh. uh, runs at Genesee Weekly. Um, this is one of probably, there's probably seven or eight Thrasher chassis out there right now. Okay. It's a Camaro clip car. Camaro on the front. Camaro on the front with uh, coils in the rear. And you said metric it's a Monte suspension. Carlo? Out, uh, pretty like much a Monte frame Carlo in the back. metric frame in the back. Yeah. Okay. So is that unique? Um, that's what most of these guys run now. Is okay, a, so it's very similar, yeah, just a different yep. manufacturer. Yep, just okay. different, different maker. How is it different than, because you got a new car last year, didn't you? Because I remember that one you had at first, and yep. that thing was like a... That was an old relic. Yeah, 15, 20 year just, old. Just got me some laps in it. Yeah. Um, the car I had before this was a Leaf Spring Camaro. Mm -hmm. and and that's not what you need either, is it? That's not what I needed. It was a little more forgiving. And, okay. Uh, this hopefully gets the job done. So, okay. So far, it's, it's definitely better. How is it better. different? Well, I have more adjustments now. Oh, oh, put that away. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Smooth coming by to offer his advice. Why? What did he do that you wanted to put away? He's I don't want to know, huh? You know, you don't want to oh, know. Okay, we don't want to know. <laughs> Fortunately, the camera's facing this That's way. That's right. There's no rear view on it, or you wouldn't want to see that. Yeah, more adjustments is good, but it also means more ways to... I can dial myself right yeah. out of the park. <laughs> Just with one adjustment, right? Yep. So are we learning that kind of stuff? We are. It's a definitely a learning curve. Mm -hmm. but it's coming along. Each okay. week gets a little bit better. Now, I know you guys are second to last tonight. They got the uh, yep. new legend sportsman. Do you think, and this is just speculation, of course, is it going to be the sta standard Canandaigua by the end of the night at 10 o'clock? I hope so. Oh, you hope I so? I really hope so. Okay. Because <laughs> this, this car runs really well on a dry, slick track. All right, we rehearsed this earlier. Who do you want to say thanks to? The wife. No. <laughs> ah, you made it wrong. So there you go. So, all right, let's try it the way it should be said. Uh, uh, boy, I don't remember, you remember all that. I don't remember all that. Okay, because my wife, my wife, see, I, I said it right. I didn't say the <laughs> wife. My wife told me this years ago, I referred to her as the wife. Yeah. She <laughs> said, what am I, like the boat, the car, the house? She said, how about my loving and supportive wife? So let's try take two. Who do you want to say the, thanks the to, The loving Mike? and supportive wife, yes. There you go. <laughs> She's watching it, smiling right now. So how about the sponsors? I know you got uh, some We got the three-legged pig, uh, fellow shepherds, which uh, that's you breed shepherds? Yep, yep. Really? Yep, we breed the German shepherds. Cool. Uh, we got BAP Engines. He does all my engine work for me. And uh, Lead Dev Designs. And, of course, Thrasher Chassis. Nice. I always said if I was ever going to get a dog, Shepherd would be about the only thing yep. I would, would put the time in to do that. Is it one thing I was worried about? We're a little off track here, so if you guys are looking for racing talk, you might as well just go to the next <laughs> one. I've heard sometimes Shepherds can't have problems with the purebreds. Are we getting past that? I think so. Yeah? Yeah. All ours are really good dogs mm -hmm. hip really dysplasia nope, right nope. they've all been uh, they've all been tested for that and really they're, they're they can good. do that now yep, they, they can test for that and certified hips really yep. well that's good to know so there's still hope for me to maybe get a shot i saw yep. a white one the other day is that we've, yeah we've got a white one really we've got a white one a black one and a few others so. yeah it was white had a little brown on it yep. i didn't even know that was a thing yep. Yep. what do they call those 
Well, they're just there, a white shepherd. How do you, do you just breed them with other white shepherds? Or, it's it, usually it's two white shepherds to get a white shepherd. You okay, because I've seen the pure black ones yep. also, and they look kind of cool too. Yep, yep. But I still like the traditional black and tan. Yeah, yeah the black and tan, and you know, it's just what you think of when you think of a shepherd. So good to see you, and again, make sure to look them up, fellow shepherds. I'm going to throw the phone number in here: five eight five two eight one seven four two six. I know a lot of you guys are thinking maybe that might be something I'd want to get. Well, go on out and talk to Mike; he'll get you up to speed. Good to see you, man. Thank and you very uh, much. hopefully, I'll see you down on the track. Okay. All right. Thank you. Thank you.